is it's your girl Nisha and I'm coming to you with a sickle soap vlog actually I am gonna try to show you guys the process of what it's like when I go to treatment this is Sunday night um right now and Leah's birthday was Friday and I did a lot you know getting her birthday dinner together so I started having pain and it was the light and it was raining so made me have some pain so i've been trying my regimen and it helped a little bit but it's still lingering and whenever it's lingering like that i just go to treatment because i know my body if i let the pain linger too long then it'll turn into a full-blown crisis that i have to get admitted for and i want to avoid that so this was the night before so basically what i'm gonna do is um get my clothes out for tomorrow and all that stuff go to bed early set my alarms and i'm gonna get up and get ready like i already have an appointment but what the process is is i have to call COVID has changed a lot you used to be able to walk in but i always used to get an appointment um i have one through the walk-in way where you just walk in and first come first serve but then they start having too many people and not enough spots so they start making everybody get appointments then after covid the whole process changed after that again so what i have to do is call in the morning tell them um why i need to come in and then they will either call me back or i'll talk to the nurse right then and she'll go over some COVID screening. Then they'll give me an appointment if there are some available. And then I'll go in and I'll show you guys. But you go in and you see you get triage and then they access your port. And then you see the nurse practitioner. And then they start the treatment, which is for me fluids pain medication, nausea medication, because the pain medication makes me nauseous, and itching medication, because the pain medicine makes me itch, and they check my levels to make sure that my blood isn't too low, and that my white count or my other counts are too high. So, yeah, I'll show you guys that, but I just wanted to tell you the night before, because I, I won't have time to say all this in the morning. I'll be getting ready, and trying to show vlog and show you guys but it really depends on how high my pain is how much i'm able to vlog so i'll see you guys tomorrow good night hey, no, me. i am at treatment waiting in the waiting room now i'll flip the camera around and show you guys but i'm here and i'm waiting for them to put me in a chair and get started Which one? 518. 518. Oh, you are <laughs> Okay, guys, so um, the doctor just left out, basically doing an examination, you know, listening to my lungs and asking me where my pain and everything is. And then after the examination, and I said, I think I said doctor, but she's a nurse practitioner, but the doctor. Um, now she is putting the orders in for treatment to start, which um, what we're going to do is fluids. And we're gonna start off with 12 milligrams of morphine for the first, first dose. And they're also gonna give me Zofran and they're going to give me Benadryl. Um, now they're about to access my port. So I will keep you guys updated so I can just show you what it's like. So I'll give you another look. That's a, these are the tr treatment chairs. They're really nice. Um, oh, this is the remote. 
to the TV. But on the side, it's a button that you can turn like a seat heater on and also a vibrating massager as well. Then they give us a blanket and heating packs and of course ice and water. And we used to get a lunch before COVID only, so I normally just bring some sort of snacks with me. Okay guys, so my nurse just accessed my port. Um, I'm, I'm basically going to be telling you guys what happens after the fact because I don't want to put any of the nurses or doctors in the video without their knowledge. I don't want to break none of the rules or nothing like that because I really like coming to treatment here and I really, really like how they treat me. So I don't want nothing to enter. I really, really like how they treat me. So I want nothing to interfere with that. But um yes my port was just accessed and the fluids are started so now my nurse just wants to go get my medications and um i'll update you on that when she comes in after that and then as far as my medication um i told you guys i'm getting 12 milligrams of morphine for the first dose normally what we do are three doses of the pain medicine and most of the time here they give you the same dose all the time but because they know how hard i work to take as little medicine as possible um the doctor is very flexible with me on what milligrams i can get the highest that i can get is 12 and um it goes off of my pain so normally she likes to start with a higher dose so that we can try to get the pain down fast um, but then for the second and third dose, she'll come back and talk to me about um, if I feel like I need 12 milligrams again or if I feel like the pain is going down enough where I can get a lower dose. Before I did all the work that I do now, like my uh, routine that I do, before that, we didn't used to go up and down on the pain medicine. It used to just, she, they used to just give me 12 milligram three doses of 12 milligrams of morphine that's just what they that's the protocol here they normally give you the same amount each time that's another reason i like coming here because when you go to the er your treatment depends on what nurse you get what doctor you get and the mood that they're in sometimes here it's the same treatment plan all the time and if your treatment plan stops working then they'll adjust it but be, like i explained minds we fluctuate in how much i get because they know how hard i work and i've talked to them on about that so yeah i'll come back with you okay nomi so i just got my first dose of morphine it was the 12 milligrams like i told you the fluids are still going she gave me um a benadryl capsule because here they do not do IV Benadryl at the hospital that I get admitted at. Whenever I do get admitted, they do do Benadryl. They do. They do Benadryl um, IV form there. But here they don't do IV form because I think of with the IV uh, Benadryl and opiate, somebody um, coded. So... Since then, they're very careful with that. So I got a Benadryl capsule, 25 milligrams, and then I got Zofran um, IV, and then I got 12 milligrams of um, 12 milligrams of morphine IV, and I believe my Zofran was four milligrams or six milligrams, I forgot which milligrams the Zofran is. But um, now I'm basically just sitting, relaxing, and what I do is either watch, I try to make sure that I keep my mind in a positive place. So I either will watch, if I'm feeling like having anxiety or depression or anything, because sometimes that comes with sickle cell, you basically get depressed from hurting all the time or you get anxiety from hurting all the time. Or for me, I get anxiety like, oh my God, what if this pain don't, doesn't go away? Oh my God, am I gonna have to get admitted? So to avoid things like that, 
Um, I try to do positive things. I listen to affirmations or sermons or positive frequencies. Or if I'm having a pretty decent day, then I just watch something funny or text my family and friends or something like that. But I basically try to distract my brain from thinking about the pain. Okay, Nomi, so I just was coming back to show you that we don't get a lunch here anymore, um, but do get a little snack, you know, and they have juice and things like that. I didn't even know that they give snacks now. It's, I don't come that often. Now, this, this, y'all, this is the main reason I get Benadryl because pain medicine opiates make me itch so bad like and it gets so that i'm scratching my back now but that's why they give me benadryl and when i'm admitted in the hospital i basically get iv benadryl every six hours because itching is that bad to the point like y'all i'll be itching so bad that i would like make bruises from itching so much but um yeah let me know if you guys have to get something for itching when you take pain meds. I even sometimes when I'm at home and I'm taking the medicine, I'll even itch at home taking the pills and sometimes have to take medicine, Benadryl for that. So do y'all have to do that too? Does it make you itch? Does it not? Let me know in the comments. Okay, Nomi. So I'm back and I just got my second dose of morphine and the doctor gave me another 12 milligrams because my pain is going down, but it's going down slow. We started out with a pain score of eight and the first dose brought it down to uh, a seven. And I just got the second dose and it, it hasn't went down yet, but I can feel it going down. So right now it's probably like at a six now, but I can feel that the medicine is working. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you guys that they also give us lidocaine patches um, and they gave me two and you get to decide where you want to put them. And I decided because my legs are hurting me the most, I put one on each thigh. You can't see it because it's under my pants, but I put one here and one here. So yeah, um, that's it. I will come back. I feel like the pain starting to go down. So right now I would say my pain is at a six so because it's actually going down and i don't feel like it's going up uh we we decided for my third dose to be 10 milligrams instead of 12 because my thing is if i don't need the extra medicine or the higher dose then i don't want it i want to put as least medicine as possible in my body i understand with having a sickle cell journey that I will have to use opiates and different medications at times, but I wanna use as little as possible. So I don't wanna just get 12 milligrams because I can get 12 milligrams. If I only need 10, then I wanna take only what I need. Okay, Nomi's, I'm coming back with the update. The nurse just came in to check my vitals and everything and my pain is going down, but I felt like at first it was going down a lot really fast but then it started feeling like it wasn't going down as fast as it was so after talking to the nurse and the doctor we decided to just keep my third dose at a 12 um so that we can make sure that it gets my pain down as much as possible and hopefully i don't have to come back and then i was telling you guys um the lab that she checks before i can have the toradol it's um, my liver function. So basically they have to check to make sure that it's okay before they can give me the um, Toradol. So we are about to get dose three and I will update you on it afterwards. I'm itching like crazy y'all, like itching, itching. Okay, Nomi, so I have just had my third dose um, I got 12 more milligrams of morphine and I also got the Toradol. I am itching like a crazy person, like everything itch. It's, it's always like that. Uh, when I get home, I can take more Benadryl, but 
I really don't go pay. I take it basically every six hours if I'm still itchy. Um, and I also have an itch lotion that um, you can get over the counter. But when I was in the hospital one time and I was itching, this is what they got, gave me. I don't remember the name, but you definitely, you can get it over, um, over, over the counter. But um, I've had my last dose and I'm basically done with treatment, finishing out the bag of fluids and then they'll come back in check my vitals and all that stuff and as long as i'm comfortable with where my pain is i go home now if you are like if i wasn't comfortable with my pain and my pain wasn't going down uh they would give me the option to be admitted now like i told you guys this is not the hospital that i get admitted at I get admitted in uh, Indiana close by home um, by my primary sickle cell doctor. And it's not bad enough where I would need to get admitted, but if I did need to get admitted, what I used to do is I would just call my doctor and because I have an amazing doctor in Indiana, she would basically get me a bed and then tell me to come into her office and admit me that way because her office is connected to the the hospital she basically would just get me a bed so i don't have to go through the er and all that stuff and then admit me and then if i was okay with being admitted here if you're in treatment you don't feel good after you get all the treatment what they would do is admit you and then continue the treatment as if you were in a sickle cell crisis um but that's it for now and i will check back in with you guys when i leave and when i get home I don't know if y'all can see all the wiggling I'm doing, but it's from the itching. So, but yeah, that's it for now. You know what I mean? Okay, I forgot to say this in the video, so I'm having to do this and add it. But to enter for the giveaway, what you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. You have to leave a comment below that says, enter me. And then you have to go to my Instagram for my herbal line, Natural Herbs by Nisha, and you have to follow it. I'll put that down below in the description, what you have to do to enter. And the prize, guys, is gonna be samples of my products. My herbal blend, my tea, and my muscle rub. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, please do those three things that I said. Okay, hey, Nomi's. I am finally done with treatment and I am back home. I hope that this gave you guys a little insight on how treatment is for me and what they actually do at our treatment center. And where I actually go to treatment at is the University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, and it's called acute care and it's within their sickle cell department. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something and you will see me in the next video. I love you guys. I pray that you are all doing well and blessed. And I hope that sickle cell warriors aren't having any pain. And if you are, I hope that it goes down. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what your treatment plan is and where you go. Love you, Nomi's.